The best gaming mouse can level up your gameplay experience by delivering a more comfortable and functional way to control all your favorite games. The best gaming mouse models combine comfort with customization, speed, and accuracy, and do it all while still offering solid value for money on top. Hello guys, in today's video we're looking at the 5 best gaming mice of 2023. And if you want more information, we'll also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting our list with number 5, we've got the Redragon M686. The affordable, well-built M686 is currently just $32 and carries many hallmarks of a premium wireless gaming mouse. That includes 8 buttons you can program, including macros and fast USB-C charging via its 5.9-foot braided cable. If you're a gamer whose budget tops out at $50, this may be the best wireless mouse for you. In a rare move, Redragon included grooves for righties to rest their ring and pinky fingers on this mouse. Many mice neglect those digits, leaving them dragging on the mouse pad. The M686 is shaped comfortably serve long hands plus another person's larger hands and also accommodates wide grips. The M686 has soft, rubber side grips, and the rest of the chassis has a smooth, almost gel-like feel. It's nice but can lack resistance, especially by the left and right click buttons. Meanwhile, the scroll wheel is tactile, but still glides pretty smoothly and shows slight wobble, making precise scrolls a bit hard. And you won't get the same springy feel from the left and right click buttons that pricier wireless gaming mice offer. The M686 is PIX RPMW 33 35 sensor goes up to 16,000 dpi, 450 IPS, and 40G. Those specs match more expensive mice and mainstream users won't notice any tracking issues whether using the lowest 100 dpi or the highest setting. Unfortunately, Redragon's free software for the M686 is almost mandatory because out of the box the three side buttons are programmed to Alt, Control, and Shift keys. You only get one profile and very few Windows programs are launchable via the mouse. RGB is also limited to a rainbow effect, breathing one color or outputting a static color. Overall, Redragon asserts that Eco Mode, which restricts RGB to the scroll wheel, can extend the battery life by up to four to five hours. The software provides a meter reading, but perplexingly, even when the battery was entirely charged, it still read 90%. After approximately 11 hours of use with RGB set to maximum brightness and speed, the app indicated that 70% of the battery remained. Next up at number 4, we've got the Razer Viper Ultimate. If you're shopping for the best gaming mouse and you want an untethered experience that's free from cables, the Razer Viper Ultimate is our top wireless pick. Aside from a few small qualms, it offers a high-end gaming experience with an overall responsive and enjoyable feel even a bit old-fashioned. The Viper Ultimate is Razer's ambidextrous, wireless, and premium gaming mouse. It feels great with smooth performance and has a welcome texture that varies between the palm and sides of the mouse. As part of the ambidextrous design, the Viper Ultimate has a two-button cluster on both sides. It also has a compartment on the underside where the USB dongle can be stored for travel, and the battery life is good with a rating of up to 70 hours. It also comes with a few different buying options, so you can choose your favorite colorway or opt to pay more to get a package that includes a charging dock. Though not entirely necessary, the dock is a nice addition to any gaming setup, and it allows the USB transmitter to sit closer to the mouse. The Viper Ultimate stands above the competition for its balance of comfort, premium feel, and strong wireless connection. The mouse is at home playing first-person shooters or real-time strategy games, running wired or wirelessly, and even outside of games. Overall, it feels complete without any corners cut and its weight is low enough to be considered ultralight without that being its only selling point. Especially considering how it's often on sale for up to 50% off, the Viper Ultimate should be one of your top considerations when shopping for a new wireless gaming mouse. At number 3, we've got the Logitech G305 Lightspeed. The Logitech G305 Lightspeed is an easy recommendation when it comes to the best wireless gaming mouse on a budget. It's a fairly simple-looking mouse that's available in a bunch of different, beautiful colors. It has an ambidextrous design too, which is less common than it should be. Its small size makes it comfortable for both palm and claw grippers. Weighing in at 99 grams, it's not the lightest mouse out there, but it effortlessly glides and moves around on different surfaces, making it a solid option for FPS gamers, and you will also appreciate the PTFE feet that come out of the box. One thing that's worth pointing out about the Logitech G305 Lightspeed is that it uses a single AA battery. The battery life is pretty good though, with up to 250 hours of use from a single battery. The battery is what's partially responsible for some added weight, 
but it's not really a deal breaker when you consider the performance you get for such a low price. But if you're willing to look past that then you've got yourself a fantastic gaming mouse with a reliable and powerful sensor. It offers a max DPI of 12,000, which makes it better than a lot of gaming mice on the market. You can use the Logitech G Hub software to configure and save up to 5 profiles, thanks to the onboard storage. The Logitech G305 Lightspeed comes with 6 fully programmable buttons. In addition to the left and right click buttons, you get 2 additional buttons on the side along with a clickable scroll wheel and a DPI button. Overall, the Logitech G305 Lightspeed is an affordable and reliable wireless gaming mouse. It's available in a variety of colors and has a lot of function and performance for not a lot of money. Next up at number 2, we've got the Razer Basilisk V3. The Basilisk V3 offers the most complete blend of price, performance, build quality, and wide-ranging comfort. It's typically available between $50 and $70, and for that price, it provides a sturdy body with a pleasingly textured matte finish and a shape that should be comfortable for each grip type and all but the smallest of hands. It uses durable optical switches, and its main buttons are large, relatively quiet, and not fatiguing to press repeatedly. The Basilisk V3 has a total of 11 customizable buttons, including two side buttons that are easy to reach but difficult to press by accident. There's a dedicated sensitivity clutch on the side as well, which lets you temporarily switch to a lower DPI for more precise aiming, though it's the one button that may be harder for smaller hands to reach without effort. Beneath those buttons is a well-sized thumb rest. The thumb wheel on top is loud and a bit clunky, but it can tilt left and right and a built-in toggle lets it switch from ratcheted scrolling to a free spin mode. That's great for navigating unwieldy documents. At roughly 4.5 ounces, the Basilisk V3 is on the heavier side for Twitch shooters, but its PTFE feet let it glide with ease and Razer's focus sensor helps it track accurately. The weight shouldn't be a major hindrance unless you really take competitive FPS play seriously. Either way, the included cable is impressively flexible, and the mouse's RGB lighting is fun without being garish. Razer Synapse software is Windows only and can be naggy with updates but makes it easy enough to set profiles and adjust DPI, polling rate, macros, and RGB effects. You can also save up to 5 profiles to the mouse itself, though your lighting customizations won't carry over. The last product on our list is the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro. The Corsair is a versatile gaming mouse that provides a comfortable grip paired with a scroll wheel and buttons that have a reassuring feel, plus you can use it wired via Bluetooth or over Corsair's Slipstream high-speed 2.4 GHz wireless connection. At 4 ounces, the RGB Pro design not only makes the mouse feel sturdier like it can take the repeated bashing of its buttons, but it also provides some resistance when moving the mouse which leads to more accurate movements instead of overshooting a target because of how easy it is to move. Along with a strong base, the RGB Pro has a very versatile design. On the left side of the mouse is a permanent side grip that acts as a ledge to rest your thumb on. The right side of the mouse is flat without a grip. However, you can remove the small plate and replace it with another side grip. There are two buttons on the left side of the housing and another two buttons just to the left of the standard mouse button. There's another button just beneath the scroll wheel that's used to change between DPI settings. And of course, there's the right click button. The left and right click buttons have a 50 million click rating, basically meaning it'll last you a good few years. Now, since this is a gaming mouse, there are of course customizable lights built in. There are nine different RGB lighting zones you can tailor to fit your mood or gaming session. You can fully customize the color and lighting pattern of the lights or pick from some of IQ's default lighting themes. You can even create custom profiles for specific apps or games, changing the lights when you're watching a movie or gaming. Battery life will vary based on whether you're using a slipstream dongle connection or Bluetooth along with if lighting is engaged. Corsair estimates a battery life of 16 hours with lighting on or 36 hours with lighting turned off when connected via the dongle. That said, the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro Wireless is a well-rounded gaming mouse that does a lot of different things and does them well. From its sturdy construction to the pleasant feel of each click, smooth scrolling of the wheel, and customization options that truly make it your own, it earned its place as our best overall gaming mouse. Ultimately, at $60, it proves you don't have to spend a ton to get a high-quality gaming mouse. Thanks for watching, that's all for now and hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.